Hey everyone, welcome to a new episode of Acting Up with Melanie Finney. This episode is going to be a good one because I'm going to be reviewing two shows. In lieu of Women's History Month, I will be talking about the United States versus Billie Holiday, and then I'll be talking about the Wilds. So, so good. There might be some spoiler alerts, so let me just alert you of that now. If you haven't seen them, stop what you're doing, go watch the movie, and then go watch the Wilds, and then come back and talk about it, okay? If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching and welcome, and make sure you also hit that bell so you know when I'm posting my newest videos. Okay, so I do have my phone here just in case I had to like go through and look at any facts and tidbits that I might miss, but let's get into the United States versus Billie Holiday, shall we? Guys, first of all, I see why Andre Day won, and this is actually what made me watch the movie. I know I should have wanted to watch it in the beginning, but Andre Day winning Best Actress in a Drama Motion Picture really, 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 really made me have to watch this after watching the Golden Globes. She, I mean, like, she did that, y'all. She did that. And at first I was like, maybe they just gave her the award because, you know, the Hollywood loves to give black women awards or women in general awards for being naked or like topless or whatever in movies and shows. But she bodied that. Like she she did. It was just it was just really good. So first of all, I didn't know that Billie Holiday was from Baltimore. Learned that. Um, and Baltimore was impacted heavily by heroin. And that's also what Billie Holiday struggled with her addiction to heroin. And I just had no idea. Like, I had no idea that she struggled with that. I really did, don't know, didn't know anything about Billie Holiday until watching this, other than the fact that she sang the song Strange Fruit. That's it. So, it was really interesting to just get into her life, of course, and to just see, like, her struggles with heroin addiction, but also the fact that the them, the man, they were really after her because of the Strange Fruit song. Like, they really, really were trying to get her arrested off of anything they could because they didn't want her singing that song. And it's sad because it's obviously still the same case that we're having with, that we're dealing with today, where black artists are singing about the struggles of being black in America, what the police are doing to us, what the white people, what the white men are doing to us, and they're trying to take us down for it because they don't want to hear about the things that they have been doing and the things that they are doing in this country. And uh, Lady Day, which is cute that they called her that, Lady Day was like, nah, like I'm not about to stop singing this song just because it makes you uncomfortable. Like, how about you stop hating us? How about that? How about you stop giving us a reason to sing about our struggles? Stop making us struggle. So I thought it was phenomenal. I thought the cast was amazing. I, I just... Yeah, I was really excited to see, um, what's it, let me look up his real name before I mess his name up, Tyler James Williams. I was really excited to see him because it's kind of cool to see him come from Everybody Hates Chris to just being grown up. I mean, he's honestly around the same age as me, but, you know, watching him be little Chris on Everybody Hates Chris and watching him be an adult in this now, it was just really good. So, that was exciting to see him. I've actually been looking on the internet and everyone's been talking about Trevante Rhodes and how he just like fell out of the sky in 2016. But he's been killing it in every role he's been in. When he was in Moonlight, crushed it. Like he's really, really talented. And so I just thought that the cast was great. I thought Andre Day just, I mean, guys, she bodied it. <laughs> she just did. Um, spoiler alert, Billy Day, Billy Holiday dies. So sorry didn't know that already <laughs> but um what I didn't know is that they handcuffed her so she was in the hospital her liver started failing and it was just like time obviously that she was going to die so the second guy that she married actually like had an agreement with the police that you know if you can just get her to admit that she be doing drugs that she a little crazy you know that's fine we just need to get her on record so they brought like a tape recorder to the hospital to record her saying basically yeah yeah I'll be, I'll be doing heroin so she agreed and they came in there and then basically when she was like recording herself she was like I'm not saying this like y'all can kiss my black <laughs> and like just started laughing and yeah they left and whatever but when she was dying they actually like handcuffed her they arrested her 
as she was dying. So they handcuffed her ankle to the bed as she was dying. Just let that sink in. Let's see, I would rate this like out of 10. I give like an 8.5 out of 10. The acting was good, the story was good. It was just like, it was there. It was just there for me. And the screenplay was by Suzanne Lloyd Parks with very famous author um, and playwright. Just, just great. She's just, just great. So I recommend it. Go watch for sure. It's on Hulu. So yeah, Hulu's not sponsoring me, but yeah, it's by Hulu. <laughs> cool. On to the wilds. Guys, 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 the wilds is so good. It's okay. So first of all, it's on Amazon Prime and it's about nine girls who are on a plane and they're supposed to be going to, I'm going to try my hardest not to spoil this too much for you guys because I want you all to watch it and experience the craziness like me and Dion did. So it's about nine women who are on a plane. They all have like their own back stories of course as every character does and it's nine women on a plane and they are going to a retreat it's like a women's retreat well they're all under the impression that they're going to a retreat and the plane crashes we don't really like know what happened to the plane how it ended up crashing it crashes and all the women wake up some of them wake up like in the ocean some of them wake up on like different parts of this island but then they all end up coming together and God, it's just like, it's so unpredictable. Like, you just don't know where it's going to go. And it ends up being, you'll learn this by the end of the first episode, this is like planned. Like, they're on an island and they're being watched the whole time. So, pretty much, you're just trying to figure out, like, who, and there are two people on the, out of the nine girls that are like, informants of the people who are watching the girls and so you're trying to figure out in every episode like okay maybe it's probably so-and-so because she knows a lot about this but it might be so-and-so because da -da -da -da. it's just so good it's so good so each episode is pretty much a backstory of each girl's life and it's also them talking to like investigators and they're talking about like their backstory so it starts out with this girl who Dion is like, she's probably our least favorite girl. That's usually how it goes. Whoever like the main protagonist is, sometimes you just don't like them. And it starts out with her. Her name is Leah. And then it just goes on and on and on. So it's actually, it's even more interesting because as the episodes start to run out, you're like, okay, we've talked about this girl. We've talked about this girl. We do learn early on that one girl is the informant. And so it's like okay so who was the other girl and you start to try to like weave out the possible suspects that you have and it's just good it's not a, a show that you can be on your phone so I know us Millennials we try to look for shows that you can sit on your phone you can't be on your phone for this show you have to give it your all and it's a good conversation starter because it makes you think like what would I really do if I got stranded in the middle of nowhere on a freaking island and so they're just trying to like contact the outside world they're trying to make a living out of this crazy island um and it's just bomb like it's really good and so i also wanted to talk about it because it's about nine women actually the person who's like running the whole shebang is a woman too and it's a diverse cast so there's LGBTQ, there are black girls on there, there are white girls on there, there's an indigenous, there are indigenous people on there. So it's just like, <sighs> yeah, I highly recommend. There's nobody in this show that I have seen before. So I can't say like, oh, one of the girls is from this show. One of the girls is from this movie. I can't tell you that because this, this was my first time seeing each of them. And I can definitely say that their acting was pretty on point. It was amazing. So if you're looking for something binge worthy, I would definitely recommend The Wilds. I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. I'm not going to tell you if anyone dies. I'm not going to tell you if they make it off the island. I don't want to tell you any of that because I really, really want you guys to watch it. So if you're into like that edge of your seat, kind of like I don't know what could happen type of show, like suspense thriller, like that's The Wilds. Definitely. And it's about, um, I think it's eight eight episodes yeah so eight episodes so yeah to, to go on 
to follow each girl. So that kind of gives you a hint because if it's only eight episodes and there are nine girls on the show, and also they got a 92% on Rotten Tomatoes. So that should also say a lot. And yes, there's going to be a season two for anybody who does watch the show and they're wondering there's going to be a season two because y'all know I had to look it up. Even from the trailer, like I'm telling you, as much as you guys want to guess what's going to happen next in the show, you're going to be wrong. Like you're not, <laughs> you're not going to be right unless you just like are really good at guessing and just really like, I don't know, because it's not even that there's like clues there all along like I I don't know I don't want to talk about it too much guys because I just want to I want you guys to experience and I want y'all to tell me how you thought about it but it's amazing I give this show a 9.5 out of 10 like really really good good acting very believable good story just draws you in like I'm I, I'm telling you usually I'm one of those people who wants to pick their phone up while I'm watching the show nah no or I'll like fall asleep when I'm watching a show or a movie not this time <laughs> not this time so there you guys have it those are my two reviews for the month please go check them out um I think I said it already the wilds is on Amazon Prime and United States versus Billy Holiday is on Hulu get into it guys get into this lady power it's it's good it's good so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You already know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on either film or show. Let me know any other reviews you want me to do. I will watch and I'll get back to you on them. Because, woo, child. Baby good. That's it for this episode. Make sure you guys come back next week and act up with me some more. Bye.